Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the experiment circuit trigger. So here is the circuit diagram of the circuit trigger. The input is connected in the second pin, inverting and third pin non-inverting is connected to the feedback and ground. So this will give the UTP and the LTP R2. The voltage across R2 is UTP and the LTP. So this is calculated using voltage divider rule. So R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into Vsat. Okay. So while calculating, we are getting plus or minus 3.25 volt. So UTP LTP is plus or minus 3.25 volt. We are going to verify in the through the experiment and we are going to see the hysteresis. Through hysteresis, we are going to prove this. Voltages Vsat and UTP LTP values we are going to verify that. Input uh, is a sine wave and output will be a square wave. Okay, we will see the experiment. So, initially the connections are given according to the circuit diagram and input is applied, sine wave is applied. You can see the input in the CRO. So, here uh, channel 2, I am going to set the channel 2 in the 0 position and so here 1 2 2 into 2 i have set the input as uh, 2 into 2 4 volts peak to peak same way so i set this in the axis and when i am clicking this i am getting the 2 volt 1 2 2 into uh, 2 into 2 4 volts input voltage is set okay now i am going to switch on the output so this is the output square wave form i am going to see the axis I'm putting it in zero. Now exactly we can match the input and output. We keep dual mode. Now you can see the UTP and LTP where the waveform is meeting. Okay. Here you can see from zero, point two, point four, point six. So point six into two. 1.2 volt is UTP and 1.2 is uh, 0 0.6 into 2 1.2 is UTP and LTP. So overall we are getting 3.2 volts 1.6 plus 1. Uh, sorry 1.2 plus 1.2 uh, 2.4 volts uh, UTP and LTP. When uh, if we want to see the hysteresis we are we should switch on the XY so that we will get the hysteresis here. We will So this is the hysteresis curve where um, this is the hysteresis curve of an inverting thermal trigger. So actually we have designed the inverting thermal trigger only. So the input carries, so this is between input voltage and uh, uh, output voltage. This is Vsat plus Vsat minus Vsat plus Vsat minus Vsat and this right side, this line is UTP and the left side is LTP. Using exposition we can uh, vary this. Now to exactly measure you can measure the total value from here to here x axis so 1 1.2 1.4 okay 1.4 1.4 into 2 so 2.8 so it is total is uh, 2.8 actually we can divide by 2 again because 1.4 is the utp and 1.4 is the ltp so whatever we get it in this And plus or minus Vsat, you can measure this uh, saturation voltage 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.2, 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. So 4.4 4. into 5, this 22 volt, right? Peak to peak 22 volt. So by 2 is 11 volt. So plus Vsat, uh, minus Vsat is plus or minus. 11 volts is the saturation voltage. So, using schema trigger, we can find out the uh, output voltage, the square waveform, and the UTP and LTP values could be set whenever the UTP, the input signal reaches UTP, the output VSAT is switched to negative, and whenever it reaches LTP, it is uh, switched from minus VSAT to plus VSAT for inverting schema trigger. So, for non inverting schema trigger, the input are changed. Input is given to the non-inverting terminal and this 
will be in reverse. The output test that we found will be in uh, reverse. Thank you.